Okay, so we're back. So since the last episode, guys, I've been playing a fair bit. Not a lot, nothing that which will ruin anything, but um, as you know, we took out Blackhaven. I think it was in the last episode, and now we actually own it. It was given to us. I defended it about three times against uh, some Reach Lords. I didn't really want to show uh, the same thing over and over and over, so I just did it in between episodes. It was really, it's really, really easy settlement to defend, especially in this version. There's something wrong with the ladders. And it just makes the AI just get stuck on, stuck on like, well, at least half the AI force gets stuck on the, on the ladders. So it's just my archers just pick them all off. So it is, it is kind of easy. I'm not trying to like be cheaty, but uh, you know what? It, it was really easy to defend. So what can I say? Also, guys, a huge thanks. Each episode's like getting around to a hundred likes, and it's quite overwhelming. I, I, I think it's awesome. So yeah. Thank you for everyone who's liking these videos. It really just means it, ma it makes my day every single day, and that's the main reason why this is going up every day. And for those who are asking about my other series, they will come back soon. But at the moment, it's Game of Thrones hype, and this is what we're going to be doing for a long time now. So I was playing around a bit. I've got also I'll also mention another thing. If for those who don't, don't know this mod, you can do this thing where you can basically set out a garrison, which will go around. Um, and patrol around the area. You can do a large one, which uh, is around like a, almost a hundred men. And what you can do, you can then go talk to that talk to that patrol and tell them to reinforce a garrison. And that's what I did. And I got a bunch of Targaryen troops from from doing that. So here's my army. I've got so many Targaryen troops now. It's awesome. Look at the heavy archers. Look how cool they look. I wish they had the the other helmets. Like, uh, see if I've, see if I've got any. I've got some. I've got some really cool uh, knights somewhere. There they are. So yeah, these are the best Targaryen uh, cab you can get. I wish the archers had those helmets, but anyway, it's uh, it's really cool. I got that cool coolant. I think I showed you that, yeah. And yeah, so it's all looking good. But anyway, I was on, on, as you know, I also own haste that cool and it's under siege. I have no idea how many troops are here. I th it might just be a small army, but um, ah, oh, dicks. That's a lot of banners. So um, in this uh, in this. In this uh, part of this series, uh, it's not looking good for the Stormlands. They have two two settlements left, which is Bronze Gate and Fellwood. Everything else has been taken over. We all, uh, the, the Targaryens almost own all of the Stormlands, so it's not looking good for them. So I think they're quite desperate just to take out another settlement, and it seems to be my settlement. Um, actually, how many troops do they actually have? So we've got 47, 47, 66, 40, and 74. Do the math, I I can't be bothered, but uh, that's quite a lot of men. Uh, let's go into Haystack Hall. Um, I've also got a lot of a lot of prisoners on me, so let's see if I can just drop some of these off. Because if, if we are going to have a battle, I'm bound to get a lot more, so it's best to get... It's best to make some room, you could say. So let's put all these guys in. I'm making about f almost up to like five grand sometimes with all these prisoners, it's awesome. So yeah, I've got a lot of Stormland troops. I've been stockpiling just Stormland troops because obviously that's all I can really recruit from the uh, from the nearby area. So uh, yeah, oh, one lord left. That's going to make it a little easier. So this shouldn't take that long at all. Uh, very easy to defend settlements. And I have put up the thing where I've got more men now um, on the battlefield. I've set it up. I, I played played around with the files. After consulting with the peers of the realm, King Aegon Targaryen started to confer Sapphire Bay to said that he's strong. Cool. I, I sort of won a village again. Uh, as you know, I, I had a village, but then Ashford got taken over again. So uh, I'm gonna try and get my like, uh, try and get a village again. I'm not sure how to properly do it, but um anyway. So we have 192 against their 200. So this is gonna be pretty super easy because uh, we already have the like the massive advantage of being in in a settlement. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this. This this shouldn't take too long too. I'm not sure the whole battle because it might take a bit of time, but uh, anyway, it, sh it should be pretty easy. Um, let's see how, so we've got 99, 64, so we have, oh, yeah, we have the exact same amount of men on the field. Obviously, we have the advantage of being in a castle, and, you know, the height advantage, that, you know, just, it's just, it's in, it's in our favour, you can say that. Um, so I'm probably, I'm probably gonna kill a fair few, and then I might just hold back and let my, uh, let my friends just do the rest. Should I get my big sword out for this? Nah, it's too close quarters. I need to get my small sword out. Oh, the hammerman! Kill him! He's he's deadly. I wonder where 
Rindy Baratheons. I haven't seen him, I haven't heard from him in a while. Ah, you bastard. Oh, wow. He will not die. He's just block, it's just block hit, block hit. Oh, he's dead. Ah. Uh, see, this is looking good, yeah. Dice, go. Aha. Well, that was quick. That was just, geez. That took like, like three, four minutes? I don't know. Thanks. Oh, look. And a better relation with House Targaryen. That's awesome. Let's see if I've got any cool loot. You're free to go. Don't give a shit. Uh, oh, look. We freed him, apparently. That's cool. So, everyone's happy. Well, not them. Um, Skyreach Skirmishes. What is Skyreach? I've been hearing some stuff about this. That's Skyreach. I'm going to hire them. Because why not? I can also hold 150 men now, which is really sweet. And we've got a bunch of more uh, people we can steal. I mean, capture. I'm not stealing them. What well, sort of am? Anyway, we got an old Lordy NASA helmet. So that's pretty bad. Uh, I'm sure the companion could use it. Um, pretty poor loot, not gonna lie. But you know what? It'll make great money to pay for our bread. So there we go. Cool. So we we defended Haystack Hall quite easily. See if any troops upgraded. Oh yeah, we did. We got nine sergeants there. We got. That's a shit ton of archers. I think all our archers is upgraded. That's a good thing about siege battles. Your archers upgrade so fast. I think I got a new horse as well. I'm not sure if I showed you. Um, I got it from one of the. Uh, what, what am I talking about? One of the def one, of, one of the defenses at uh, Blackhaven. Because obviously I was fighting a lot of Reach. You know, as you know, Reach have great horses. They have very good cavalry. So let me see character. No, god damn it. I uh, got this horse. It's uh, pretty good. I think it's actually it's actually really good. Uh, speed 40, charge 40, um, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to use my old horse, I'm going to give my old horse to a companion who hasn't actually got one yet. I'm um, thinking Brendan Storm, be a great choice. If he can even ride a horse, I'm sure he can. Anyway, I'm going to take that sword off him, it's just, I, I don't like it, and he, sometimes the bots just, um, I mean the AI, well yeah, he, he, he's a bot, just end up using just the wrong weapons at the wrong time. So it's be best just to give him, you know, the one good weapon. Is that better than my sword? I was going to say. Um, ah, that's a shield. Shield, that's pretty good. Actually, it's pretty good. How's his boots? Boot, booties, booties, good booties. He's got great booties, yes. Uh, how's his helmet? 34, 34, 32, 33, 28. Hmm, not bad. Armor's okay, yeah, he's fine, he's fine. He's all decked out, but now I need to make sure he is under a cavalry unit. And what I mean is by going here and pressing cavalry. So when I, when I select my cavalry on the battlefield, he will count as a cavalry unit. Because you don't want him to be on foot and be on, and have a horse. That makes no sense, but you know what I mean. But anyway guys, now it's time to move on to bigger and better things. Um, once the tournaments are done, I really eventually want to take our King's Landing. I can feel it happening soon. So once we push here, we're going to have this entire circle here of just freedom. Um, Dragonstone, I'm not sure if they'll even push forward. They've got their own troubles against um, against the Westerlands. As you can see, they're taking Maidenpool, which I think was originally fr um, owned by the North, but was taken over by the Westerlands. And if you're new to this series, the reason why the Westerlands are hot pink, uh, sort of purple, is because they're, they're, if I didn't change their color, they'll be exactly the same as the Targaryens. And you can't change the Targaryen colors. And I'll show you what I mean by this. You go to camp, you go and take an action, you go and re-dye the factions, and you can pick factions and re-dye them. But the, for some reason, the Targaryens are not on the list. I think it's because they're a faction which came, came into the mod later on. So, who knows? So, I had to change the Westerlands to hopping, just so it's easy to, like, to recognize who's who. Um, who knows? Maybe, maybe when the Stormlands are destroyed, I might even just make him yellow or something. <laughs> who knows? Or I might actually, I could probably make them yellow, so they could be the new... They could be the new Stormland faction, and then they could be sort of the pink, more of a, more of a red, who knows. Well, that's something to worry about later on. Anyway, you rest near your village when the local elder's wife approaches you. The wife wants to sleep with you while her husband is away. <laughs> you send one of your men to rape the wife. What? Uh, you refuse. I'm not gonna sleep with someone else's, that's just... She's a slut. She is a complete. Just <laughs> you, sir. Go and rape this woman. Shh. That's so brutal. Oh. oh, we could probably take that right now. To be honest, it's it's probably going to be that easy. But it's Lord Selwyn Tarth. I believe that's Brienne's dad, brother, or sister. I don't know. I don't think she has any siblings. I don't know much about. Oh fuck it. Anyway, um. So yeah, we have. 
Oh, he just got taken back. I was looking away for one second and Tumbleton just got gets taken back. The Reach are going to be a big problem because they got such a large area that... And they're going to not give up. You know, that's the thing. The Reach are not going to give up. But the good thing is that we have Dawn, which aren't really doing a lot, to be honest. Like, let's be realistic here. Dawn have done nothing. They've taken out Night, Night Song. That's it. And they've lost the settlement. So, really, it's not much. So, I believe they actually took Ashford early on when, when they first declared war. But... That was it. After that, they did nothing. So yeah, right. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is go back to HZ Cool. I'm gonna gather all my uh, all the best prisoners I have, and I'm probably just gonna go to a city and sell them all to make some money. So let's go manage the garrison. I'm gonna put all these guys in, um, unless there's any knights here, which there might be. No, there's not. So I'm gonna, first, I'm gonna make sure I've got all the knights on me because they sell for about 200. Between 200 and 250 each, which is amazing. So, and we got two heavy knights. Obviously, the heavy knights sell for a bit more. Uh, the same with the old town knights; they sell for a lot. Reach knights uh, sell for quite a bit as well. Um, I, I thought I had more than this. I, I must have sold them in between episodes. I thought I swear I had more before. Anyway, let's get the sergeants. Uh, that's what we get next. Uh, um, let's get the hammermen; they sell for quite a bit as well. Longbowmen as well; they sell for a bit. Glavemen sell for a tad. Um, veteran, sell for more actually, should have got that one first. Oh, let's get them then. Uh, sorry, this is probably very boring to watch. Oh, well, shit happens. Who cares? Let's just get whatever. Um, let me quickly go to the Lord's Hall and see if I can set out a, a patrol. Because that will really help with just garrison the, the cinnamon. And they probably won't even attack it again. And anyway, I want, uh, actually, I, I doubt it will let me, do, let me do this. But, um, I'll show you how to do it anyway. So once you have a castellan in your castle, he will come automatically once you've got a castle. It'll take maybe a, f a few days before he will arrive but anyway you go to let's talk about patrols and troops you go onto this uh, patrol um so yeah i can't do this unless i take troops out of the garrison which i don't want to do so some, so after a while i probably will be able to do another garrison but it's because i think it sort of shares it between all your all your sentiments so yeah it's kind of confusing anyway so i'm gonna head off now i'm going to actually i've got a lot of troops on me oh yeah because i've got these skirmishes don't i where is sky reach i don't even know i might have to google this is it our sky reach is there. Now, for all the all, all the lovely Game of Thrones uh, fans watching, and obviously who who keeps closing doors in my house, you guys can probably hear that. I apologise. People love to open and close doors in this house. It's a uh, it's a weird weird obsession. Anyway, for the people who do know, who are very knowledgeable about Game of Thrones and the books and all, all that all that lovely stuff, what is uh, tell me what t tell me about sky reach? You know, tell me tell me some history about it. Tell me about these skirmishes. Why? 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 Um, oh, look, there's Aegon. Hello. Anyway, let's go to Ashford and see if they've got a slaver in the tavern. They might do. They might not. Uh, they got the Ransom Broker, which is the same thing. 3,200. We have a deal. And that's not even all the, all the best troops, which is great. And we've got a Wanderer there. Let's check out the Marketplace, see what the local armor looks like. Oh, that is so cool. That is pretty cool. I don't know. I think I, this one looks cooler, but that is so much better. Um, I hate this style. I think that looks makes you look just w weird. Um, that is pro probably my favorite out of the three. Yeah, I'm very into my my weapons here. I do like this kind of weapon because it sort of reminds me of the of the elven weapons in Lord of the Rings, like the two-handed. I'm, I'm not sure what they call it. I can't remember. As you know, I forget things quite easily. Um, I'm not gonna bo I'm not gonna bother. A lot, of, a lot of lords don't even, like, attempt to run away or attack me because I've let so, so many of them go f go f um, free. So they they, they, they respect me. Um, that's, they got so, so many people in here, oh my god. So yeah, I've got quite a fair few troops in here. A lot of Stormland troops, um, lot, uh, quite a few Targaryen troops. As you see, there's some longbowmen there. I might just put all the skirmishes in here. I'm not sure how much they actually cost. Uh, they only cost five dinars per, per month, which is fairly cheap, actually. But anyway, yeah. Also, the yeah, veteran Tiger Men at Arms have also been uh, been getting recruited at all these places, which is really cool. So, yeah, guys, so, yeah, I sort of wanted to just, just to show you what's been happening um, in the last few hours that I've been playing. Obviously, not today. It's been over the last few days. So, yeah, we got Blackhaven now, and we have Hayes Cool. Kind of uh, not. It's not very really convenient. Uh, they're quite far apart, and if one gets attacked, you know, and no one else is willing to go help them, then I have to, I have to go just travel all the way. And, and, and at this stage, they are getting attacked quite frequently, which is kind of annoying. Um, I want to know who owns who owns Ravendale. It, it doesn't actually tell me because it's currently on fire, so yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, uh, one of your new recruits dies from an illness. He carries both a seven-pointed star and a tattoo of ooh of the. I'm not sure how you meant to pronounce that, but I believe that's the religion that 
of the red god, like which uh, Melisandre, who who like follows Stannis around, believes in. Uh, Rahilo, I'm not sure. Sorry if that's if that's that wrong. Anyway, no one knows what he preferred most. Burn him and donate thousand coins to the Temple of the Lord of Lights. Yeah, that's what that's what I meant. Lord of Light, not the red the red god. I don't even know. I'm not a very religious person, so it's not helping with, with Game of Thrones as well. Uh, bury him and donate him. Of, um, just leave him lying there. <laughs> um, I think we're going to go bury him and donate to the thousand... Actually, no, what do the Valerians... Um, how did he even know? Let's just go with this one. Ooh, you gain honor. Cool. There we go. Maybe we made the gr made the better choice. Anyway, let's go to Greenberry, see if there's any recruits. Oh, what's this? A traveler tells you where to find a band of traveling mummers... Mimmers? Mimim is recently arrived. Um, attack the caravan is still there. We're still helping them on their way. Give them two hundred coins. Sure. I'm an honourable person. Oh, I didn't get I didn't get food, did I? Fifteen recruits. Damn. Buy supplies. All they've got is ale, which is. Oops. Didn't mean to go to the village centre. I apologise. Let me go to uh, Ashford before we starve to death. And let's go to the marketplace. Go to the goods. And we can't eat this because apples don't count as food in this mod for some reason. <laughs> oh well. Um, we might have to just just to drop off some troops because we probably just can't afford to uh, to feed all these troops. So that's much is what we have to do. Um, has never reached Lord. What's he doing? Bugger off. So let's go. Oh fuck's sake. Uh, manage the garrison and let's just give him. Let's give him some troops. I might give him some some of my bowmen. Uh, let's give him some of them. Let's make it so I have around 60 men. I think that'd be healthy enough. Keep them on me. Uh, they can go. Uh, give a few of them. Mm, let's give a few more sergeants. There we go. That'll do. So now it sh I shouldn't it shouldn't go down as quick. We're having to feed them anyway. So I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna now gonna go roam the lands and let's get into a fight. Actually, let's just go fight this guy here. Come back here, you scumbag. You die now. Ashford patrol. He's probably gonna help me. I am Maymel Matalus, your dickhead, and you shall die. I'm a bit of a dick, what can I say? And for those, I just want to quickly make, talk about something while this battle gets pre gets um, prepared. Um, a lot of people like are saying, oh, join the north, or, you know, or why are you mean to Stannis, or why are you mean to the Stormlands, you know. Every series I do in A Clash of Kings is roleplayed, okay? It's not personally me, I just try and be my character sometimes, you know, he, obviously, he's not a fan of the Stormlands, we, we just probably spent the last uh, 20 episodes uh, destroying them, so, yeah, um, and each series is different, as you can probably tell. The last series, so Drew Deathstag, was, we, 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 we were a part of, of Dragonstone, we were basically, dra actually, no, we weren't Dragonstone, we actually ended up becoming our own faction, but we were best friends with Dragonstone, and we were sort of a part of them for quite a while, so, yeah, um, the series before that, we were sort of friends with, with the North and Riverlands. Um, and the series before that, I can't even... Re I think we were actually part of the Stormlands as well, so... it's I've done a lot of series, it's kind of hard to remember all of them. Um, right, so yeah, I own, I own all the troops, right, because a patrol came to join. That's right. Should we just charge? Fuck it, let's just charge. We got so we got so much cab, we could probably just take him out with just our like, cavalry units. This 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 would be funny. And they and their cavalry are currently doing nothing, so. We got so much so much shit. So much cavalry that It should not be a problem, to be honest. We might lose a few, but you know what? Oh well. <laughs> Oh, I'm just hacking, hacking for days. And now, we, we do need to take out all these uh, Glavemen, because they do a lot of damage to horses. And we, we have a lot of them. Oh, we lost the Mounted Targaryen Sergeant, that's a shame. Oh, th this is fun. This is like a nice quick battle, I like this. So easily, so easily destroyed, I love it. Now, for some reason, the Targaryen Sergeants don't have shields, which is kind of unusual for cavalry. A lot of cavalry units tend to have shields, so... Yeah. Well, that should be just about it. A few left, and that should be the battle. Seems to be stuck in that big pile of people. Everyone move, you're not doing the job. Out the way. Wait, oh wait, there's more? 
Whoops. They were fully just chasing the last man, and I just told them all to come over here. Look, that was my bad, I admit. No one's perfect. But shit happens, okay? Forgive me. How's it going, mate? So yeah, I believe there's only one left. Two left. Two left, and they should... We got some dudes on them, so they should just die any second now, and that should be the battle. And I think that'll be the episode, guys, and then... I'm trying to... Th I'm trying hard, guys, to try and like, think of something interesting for every episode. This episode was sort of just going over what I've been doing recently, and what we're... And our current status, you could say. Uh, we're, like, where we are in the series, and sort of what we... What we're, what we're all about. Yeah, that makes no sense. Let's capture all these guys. Um, let's capture them. There we go. Cool. Anything cool? A helmet and just some other shit that we don't really want. Also, I haven't done actually something I haven't done in a while. Before I quickly end this episode, Comp I, my companions have been gathering a lot of shit over the o over the over the last nineteen to eight, 20 episodes. What episode are we on? I can't remember. So if I sell uh, items automatically, how much money do we just get? Oh, we got so much money. So th th those are all the items that my companions have. So yeah, well I think let's let's go let's go talk to a companion. Let's go talk to Alan, and let's see what's uh, in this. Uh, let's see what's in uh, see in your inventory. Oh yeah, he's got nothing now. So yeah, that works well. So he's got a bunch of money off that. Now I've got twenty three grand. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get any sergeants from here. Let's get, we can get to cool, very nice. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, we're probably going to focus on taking. Uh, may maybe, maybe next episode we'll focus on just taking out the Stormlands for good, so they will leave haste their call alone, the poor thing, and we uh, that we can then then move on to bigger and better things, maybe even onto the Westerlands. Hinting this thingy here. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all the support. It means so much to me. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ta ta for now.